Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. how are especially low income communities of yeah. color uh -huh. empowered by gardens? Yeah, so it, it's basically um like self determination. And it's basically like controlling or dictating what food that you put in your body and dictating like what food you're gonna put in your you know, your, your relative's body, your neighbor's body, and, and being in control of that. And so when you think about, let's say you go to a neighborhood that's blighted, just run down, uh, run down lot, right? You can go in there and turn that into a healthy community space for everybody, you know, that not only feeds their spirits, but you're gonna plant fruit trees, you can plant a garden, vegetables, and so kind of hit it in, in different areas from different aspects. And so it's really like taking control of like your community and what, what you wanna see and what you wanna do. Um, and empower people, right? Because a lot of times, people don't really have um, the, the 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 opportunity to take advantage of, you know, to really take hold and change things in the community. So I think urban agriculture is like one of the few things that you can really do and see it change and really enjoy and get encouraged. Like, man, I can do this. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think it's it's beautiful.